kids, it's me, Rocket. I want you to know that I care about your safety and I really care about you too. That's why I'm here to teach you about fire safety. So show me a big thumbs up if you're ready to learn how to stay safe when there is a fire. Great, let's get started. Now, I want you to know that fires, they can be dangerous. That's right. It's important to know what to do and who to call so you can stay safe. Now, I wanna to talk to you about the people that will keep you safe when there is a fire. We all know that firefighters are very brave and that they put out fires in our neighborhoods, but they do so much more to keep us safe. Firefighters help people who are hurt when there are car accidents. They make sure that you get to the hospital right away. They also rescue people and pets if you get stuck in a dangerous flood. And firefighters teach us how to prevent fires in our home. They teach us important ways to keep ourselves and our house safe. Fires are very dangerous and they can hurt us. We want to make sure we don't get burned by the fire or we don't start a fire by accident. And there are things at home that can start fires if we aren't careful. And sometimes a lot of those fires and burns happen in the kitchen because people, they aren't being safe. So give me a thumbs up if you're ready to learn about how to stay safe in your kitchen. Fantastic, here we go. One way you can prevent a fire or being burned is by making sure the pot handles are moved to the inside of the stove. See this one here? It's pointing out, which means someone can bump into it if they aren't looking and they can get burned by the flame. You also need to make sure to protect your hands from any hot plates and pans. You can even ask an adult for help. When it's cold, you might plug in an electric heater, but keep it away from fabric like clothes, rugs, or even curtains because they can catch on fire. And never plug in too many things into one outlet like a toaster, a coffee pot, and a heater. This can make things too hot and it can cause a fire. Give me a thumbs up if everyone understands how to stay safe in the kitchen. Great job. Knowing what to do to prevent fires is so important. Our firefighter friends want us all to be prepared in case there is a fire at home. This means that every home should have smoke alarms on the ceilings. You can ask your local fire department where to put them in your home. Ask your parents or guardians to test them to make sure they're working properly and remind them to replace the batteries at least once a year. If you hear your smoke alarm chirping like a little bird, it's time to change the batteries. Along with the smoke alarm, your family also needs to have a fire extinguisher, a flashlight, and extra batteries in your home and make sure that they're working properly. Ask your parents or guardians to also have a cell phone and a first aid kit on hand. If there is a fire, you need to know how to find your way out of your home and your bedroom too. You need to look for your exits like a door or a window. And you should always look for two exits. You always look for two because one of the exits might be blocked or it won't open, or it could be dangerous to use that door because of the fire. Your parents or guardians can help you create a plan to get out of your home safely and a safe meeting place to meet once you're out. You and your parents or guardians need to find a safe place that is away from danger so you all know where to meet when there is a fire. Remember to get to your safe meeting place, and once you're there, wait for help until it arrives. You can also make a contact list that includes a lot of information in case you're separated from your family. The list should have your parents' names, your address, emergency phone numbers, and medical information too. If there is a fire, 
your smoke alarm will go off with a loud sound. It may even sound something like this. Yeah. And before you leave the room to find the safe meeting place, you need to ask yourself, is the door hot? You have to ask, is the door hot? And always remember to check the door with the back of your hand. There could be a fire on the other side of the door. If it is hot, find another way out, but never ever grab the doorknob first. Give me a thumbs up if you agree and you understand that you never ever grab the doorknob first when there is a fire. Great job. You only touch the door with the back of your hand. When you do leave the room, you need to get low and go. If you see or smell smoke, crawl to a safe exit and follow the plan to get to your safe meeting place. Follow the plan you and your parents or guardians made to get to the safe meeting place quickly and calmly. When you leave your house in a fire, never go back for a pet or a toy. If you do have a pet that is inside, leave the doors open and call for them from a safe place. But do not hide inside your home. Go outside and get to your safe meeting place. Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Great job. If your clothes catch on fire, you need to stop, drop, and roll. This means you need to stop where you are, drop to the ground, and roll to put out the fire. This also means you need to cover your face with your hands and close your eyes to protect them. So cover your face and close your eyes when you stop, drop, and roll. Let's all say stop, drop, roll on the count of three. One, two, three. Stop, drop, roll. Fantastic. And if there is a fire and you cannot get out through a door, open a window and yell, help, fire, as loudly as you can. Only do this in a real emergency and if there is a real fire. If there is a fire, you have to shout for help and get people's attention so you can get help right away. This means you may have to shout, help, fire, a few times to get someone's attention. And don't forget to dial 911. You need to call 911 once you're out and you're safe. Remember, the 911 operator on the other end of the phone is your friend. Speak clearly and calmly and answer all of their questions. That way, the right kind of help can get to you right away. So make sure you dial 911 and wait for a firefighter or first responder to come and get you. Whew! I know we all learned a lot today and you all did such a great job listening. We learned so much about how to stay safe in case of a fire. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Now I have to go on to the next class, but before I go, I want us to say my fire safety promise. I want all of you out there to raise your hand and I want you to repeat after me. I promise to be prepared so I can stay safe when there is a fire. That was fantastic. Don't forget, I care about your safety and I really care about you too. Before I go and until I see you next time, here's my rocket howl. Oh, oh, oh! Don't forget to stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye now.